G'day, I'm Dwayne Morris from the Smart Energy Lab and I'm here on day two at All Energy and it's the vibe is big. There's lots of people passing by uh, and I'm here with Morton from Pixie. Now, I love the name Pixie. It's kind of like cute, but you know, you do big stuff. Yeah. You do magic. You do magic. You, you do, do magic. magic, definitely, yes. <laughs> so Morton, what's your role in the company? I'm the, the CPO or the, the Chief Product Officer in, in, in Pixie. So trying to, to um, here now, trying to learn you know, what's going on in the Australian market to make sure that we can align our product portfolio with the, with your requirements moving forward. Because Pixie's had a long history in, you know, through its various members uh, in uh, energy storage and uh, utility scale, not utility, sorry, um, yeah. telco space. But That's you're making great. a move into more uh, CNI. Yeah, so we and we have taken you know the, the the modular and scalable solutions from the telcos into the energy storage space. And I think we are kind of standing out in that in that sense. That enables us to be extremely flexible in terms of scaling. You know, to exactly what kind of of, of power or energy requirements there are. That's the key about so, modularity. Every customer yeah. has slightly different requirements. Exactly, and, and we are able to basically you know with a relatively standard system. Uh, meet a lot of different uh, requirements. So for those who have never heard of Pixie or the Pixie units, uh, these beautiful little Pixie boxes, can yeah. we pull one out? Definitely. Now if this system was yeah. running, would you be able to do that? Yes. Hot swappable? Hot swappable. Wow. So uh, Now, what's this? This is a little this, uh, hard this, drive, is it? This is a, <laughs> we call it a hardware platform. Yep. So it can basically be different products depending on what kind of software you activate in it. Yeah. Uh, so it's the, the main function is being a, a bi-directional inverter. So okay. a 3.3 kilowatt bi-directional inverter, which we are using in these systems, and uh, up to 50 kilowatt in a single cabinet. And then we add up and, and we, have, we have delivered in Europe up to a couple of megawatts based on, based on this module. That is a 3.3 kilowatt. Can I hold it? You can. Is that the real thing? That's the I'm real thing. I'm holding a 3.3 kilowatt inverter. Exactly. Uh, yeah. uh, with one finger, probably. <laughs> that is incredible miniaturization. I mean, I've yeah. been in this industry 30 years, and the early Grid Connect systems, 3.3 would have been about a 30 kilogram inverter. Yeah. With a big transformer in it would have been about 92% efficient. What are these? 96 and a half, <laughs> both, both, both ways. Yeah. Both yeah. ways. Yeah. So uh, is, do you have the requirements for connecting to the grid in Australia for 777? We have. Oh, fantastic. Yeah. So this so could let's... just be connected as a, a conventional inverter system uh, because it complies with the rules uh, it does, for, yeah. for connecting to the grid. Yeah. Now the hot swappability, um, so you can actually unplug this under load. Under load. Right, that's pretty incredible. Look at that. It's just, it feels very much like a, a raid array that you just pull drives <laughs> out and they just look after each other. Yeah. So can you do single phase and three phase? Single and three phase. Right. Yeah. This is a, a single phase mo module and you have one phase per, uh, per kind of column in the system here. Yep. Um, so there's a back plane which you configure on exactly. the three phases yeah. and you plug these in. I'll let you put it back in yeah. so I don't do anything wrong. Um, and then uh, as men men mentioned, it's a, it's a hardware platform. So it can also be an MPPT module. So you can create uh, hybrid solutions. It can be uh, a pure rectifier, of course. It can be a pure inverter if you have like uh, uh, you know, critical loads so you want to supply. It's, it's basically an energy moving device, whether it's DC or AC, whether it's yeah. charging or discharging, yeah. supporting the grid, yeah. supporting a load. Wow. So it's basically a unit that has a, a low voltage and a high voltage side, and you can do you know various things back and forth with it. Now, let's say you've got this running with uh, three modules uh, per phase, and one of them fails, what will happen? Uh, they will still operate, but then obviously it will... It will uh, uh, have some imbalances, um, but uh, ob yeah. So to run at a lower power level, I suppose if you're exporting to the grid at a certain power level, you've got to be balanced across the phases. Yeah. But it didn't look like you didn't need to be uh, a specialist to change these. This looks pretty simple. It is. Yeah. You can have the janitor replace this if you have uh... <laughs> <laughs> And how would you know which one's faulty? You have a red light on it, so okay. basically, yeah. Piece of cake. And of course, we will get an alarm should a module fail. The system will continue to operate. Yep. Um, and uh, just with a slightly lower uh, capacity, uh, and you will get the message over some cloud service or or uh, sort of remote uh, service and have someone go and, and replace it when it's necessary. Now there's one other exciting thing in this unit. I'm, I'm familiar with the Pixie uh, with the Polarium batteries, but yeah. you're now using the Australian made uh, Power Plus Energy batteries yeah. as well. Uh, so ba basically we are, you know, we are uh, battery agnostic, so we can use different uh, kind of batteries. We, uh, our batteries are extremely important uh, you know, part of our systems. 
So they're very strict in terms of how we integrate them, test them very thoroughly, make sure that they have the right thermal performance, the right performance of various, various uh, uh, parameters. Um, so, you know, it's great to be here in Australia also to, use, uh, to be able to use Australian uh, uh, made factories. Yeah, uh, that is great. And uh, I noticed there's quite large gaps between this. Is this for, to manage the thermals? Yeah. So um, it's, it's also, it, we, we could squeeze in more of, of, of the PPE batteries in, uh, if we, uh, if we uh, wanted to, but you now gives a good, uh, good uh, thermal uh, performance there as well, so we could, could load, load them quite heavily. Now, yeah. I, I did see that uh, at North Fitzroy they did a community battery using Pixie, I think with uh, one, mod one power module and three battery modules, I think it was. Oh, it, it, there is one uh, sort of cross-connect cabinet or an AC connection cabinet with the meters and stuff. Oh, and there's yes. Three of these cabinets. Oh, okay. with, with, with the pixies in the top and the batteries in the bottom. Exactly. Right. Um, and I went up to see it uh, on Monday this yep. week and it, uh, it's, it's, it's phenomenal. It's beautiful, the yeah. artwork on it too. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And it's been you know, one of the hot topics, I think, during this show. I've seen it in uh, five or six different presentations uh, mentioned. So uh, Yes. Yeah. It, it's, it's got good. a soft spot for me because Chris Wallen, who from your yeah. Energy Foundation, was on my very first course I ever ran. I think it was okay. back in 2007. Ah. And uh, I knew he was someone special. He was yeah. more than just thinking about the engineering side. He was thinking yeah. about the community yeah. and you know how energy can benefit everyone. So yeah. that was a great project. Yeah. So just coming back to using this in community battery environments, this is a, an outdoor rated cabinet. Yeah. So I guess it's got thermal management. Yes. So we have two different uh, types. We have the fan filter which is for more, maybe I'm from, I'm from Norway, so uh, there we don't need much aircon. <laughs> then it's more to heat up the batteries. Not uh, yet, you wait for climate change. Yeah. <laughs> and then uh, we have also air conditioned uh, units for uh, for uh, hotter climates. Yes. Oh, cool. Well, uh, Morten, uh, thanks very much for talking to me about the Pixie unit. Thank you very much, and uh, thank you for taking your time. Okay. Yeah. Okay, good.